How you going folks? Um, so I went for a ready session this evening and caught a few readies. Uh, I've been asked by a few people to show them how I feel at readies. Um, it's not the best technique, uh, it does me. Uh, it does leave a lot of meat behind. So for example, um, this is left over that I cut out of it because I just can't be bothered cutting around the ribs. Um, but I feed that to my chickens and then the chickens pump out a heap of eggs. So I'm not that stressed. Um, but here we go, take this ready. It's a nice big one, it's 35 centimetres. And uh, the first thing I'll do is they're, they're really tough. So first, first thing I'll do is I'll cut the head off. Crunch through that bone. And that just goes in the chook bucket. Then I'll get me a smaller knife and I'll take the guts out. Like that. I was going to see what this fella's been eating, but uh, I can see why we caught him because there was nothing in his guts. He must have been pretty hungry. Right, so then you've got that scenario right there. Then what I do is I take this knife and I cut here and against that, against there, through there and I cut all the rib bones. I'm not really worried about being fancy um, with it. I just cut straight through. Takes a bit of effort. I know my hands are in the way. I'm gonna get a lot of negative comments about that. But uh, I can assure you it's not too much of an issue. I've been doing it quite a while. There we go. And that's the fillet there. And then I start my knife there and hold that with my thumb. And I skin it. Just by dragging my knife back like that. I, um, I find with this big tough fish that a fillet knife doesn't really work. So there's the skin. It goes in the chook bucket. And then I'm left with that and the ribs. So what I do is I cut along the rib line. And I cut that out. And yes, I've left a lot of meat behind. But I'm not super stressed about that. That goes to the chickens and really gives me a nice batch of eggs. And then there, sometimes there can be left some pin bones here, but I've cut them out. And um, so then I'll give the fillet a wash. But that's the fillet. Look at that. That's enough for, for us. Here's a couple I've done from a smaller fish. I'll show you again in a second. Okay, so I've got the other half, flip that over, same process, just find that backbone and I cut through the ribs. And again, a lot of people are going to have a go at the way I'm cutting here. Um, yep, there's a bit of risk. Uh, I've, I've never cut myself, but I do agree there's a bit of risk there. So again, there's the carcass. Cut the ribs out. And there's my fillet. I'm happy with that. Okay, so here's a tricky bit. So look, here's a smaller one. Um, you're not meant to throw these back. Some people do. Um, I don't. I, um, I keep them because they're a pest and if you, there's too many in the lake, they run out. So um, 
I take them. But how do you get meat off that? Okay, let me show you. Here we go, same process, just cut through the ribs. Leave it attached. There you go, take that off. Cut around the ribs. And there you go, folks. There's a little fish finger, okay? That'll crumb up and uh, do nicely. So there's our chook food, folks. And uh, there's the fillets I'm gonna cook up right now. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helps some people. I know it doesn't get all the meat. Um, I know some of those fish are really small. Um, but the idea is, is um, you know, sometimes I'll catch 20 small perch under 20 centimeters. Uh, I don't throw them back because they're a pest. And I don't wanna waste them. Um, so I get, fish finger size fillets out of them, uh, cook them all up and it's enough for all of us to have a feed and the chickens get a really good feed and they pump out the eggs for us. So that's my way. I uh, hope you enjoy.